Hey everyone, um, I appreciate we're all going through this coronavirus thing at the moment. I hope you're staying well. Um, but, you know, if we don't try and carry on as normal, we're all going to go a bit crazy, aren't we? So I'm going to carry on doing a few videos. And today, we're just going to have a look at my Satie's machine. I'm going to review it for you. I've unboxed it in the past, so, you know, you can look at that video. But um, I've wanted to do a review for a while, so I thought this is a good chance to do it. So the Satie's machine, I've had Satie's machines for about five years now. If you watch some of my older videos, you'll see that I had a Satie's with milk, a cream one. Um, that had an Aeroccino 3 connected to it. And they used to be really big and bulky. So they sort of came out all the way here, all the way to the back. And there was just a bit of plastic in this section here that never really got used. Um, so in the newer ones, you'll see that if you get one with milk, with an Aeroccino, that bit there is cut away and it's a lot sleeker, which is good because that gives you more worktop space. So they've improved the design there. But on this one, I wanted an Aeroccino 4. I'll leave a card now if you like the look of that and you can uh, click the link above and uh, watch a review of that. Um, but today we're focusing on the Satie's. So that's why I haven't got one with an Aeroccino 3 attached because I wanted the, the 4. Um, so what are the features of this though? Well, there's two buttons on it. You have an espresso button on this side and a lungo setting on this side. But you can also reset those by changing the cup sizes and you can make a ristretto or just have it to deliver the amount of water through the machine, you know, however much you want to come through by adjusting that cup size. So that's one thing you can do. Where do the capsules drop? Well, there's a tray here, and on my old Satie's machine, this used to be like a plasticky section that was um, solid, but it was like lines, and to be honest, it used to get quite dirty, it was difficult to clean. This newer one by Krups, mine's made by Krups, this one is a lot easier to clean because it's got these perfect these holes in it and this is the tray where the, the capsules just drop into. Now that, that could do with a clean as you see. They do get dirty but you just clean them out now and then. Um, so why do I like the Satie's machine? Well it's a bit bigger than say um, some of the smaller ones. The, I think it's the Ascensa and the Pixie. They're a bit smaller. And why is that important? Well if you've got like I've got a travel mug from Nespresso. Um, and that, if you just unscrew the lid, you'll see one of the commenters mentioned this recently, actually, that when they were looking to buy a machine, that fits quite nicely into the Satie's machine. But if you have done the smaller machines, then you have to sort of tilt it to be able to get it to come out properly or to get it to go into your cup properly. And it's not ideal, really. So I quite like it because of that. I like the size of it. Um, and I personally wouldn't, I don't like the smaller machines for reasons like that. I quite like to have a little bit of space to play with. But if you've got limited kitchen space, then maybe this isn't the right one for you. Um, the cable, I usually tidy the cables up a little bit better. And I've moved the machine out today to get a better view. But the cable is about 90 centimetres long. So you see there's a fair bit of length on it there. So... If your plug is at the opposite side of your worktop to where you want to plug your machine, where you want to sit your machine, then you've got a fair bit of room there to play with lengthwise to be able to plug it in. So where do you put your water? Well, the water sits at the back here and that's in a fixed position. It easily clips off and you can either refill it there. So you just take that off and refill it in position or you can clip it off and just take it away. And that comes off as well like that. So it's nice and easy to refill. Um, one thing about that though is you know it is in a fixed position. So you can't move that around. Whereas if you look on my virtual machine over here, you'll see this one here, that's movable. So you can move that to either side. So that might be an option for you. But don't forget the virtual is a completely different machine. It takes different capsules. So it might not be the right one for you that. Um, but check out my other videos and you can see that in use and I explain a bit more. I actually have a video where I put these two up against each other um, to explain the differences. So I'll link to that above now and have a look at that if you're unsure as to which one to buy. So I thought it'd be a good idea now just to make a quick espresso with the machine. Just to show you how it works, where you put the capsule. So I'll just set this going. It takes about 15 seconds, something like that, 20 seconds. Check the website. I'm not listing all the specifications of the machine here. I'm just giving you an idea of how long it takes to heat up um, and show you how to use it. Uh, I'm going to use just one of the new capsules today. Just uh, This is from the Inspir Italian Inspirazone or something like that range. 
Um, these are quite nice. The new, the limited edition. So you might, when you order your machine, you might want to get these before they go. Um, so the capsule just drops into the top there like that. You just push it down and that pierces the capsule lid. It's like got a film lid on top, just pierces the film lid. Um, and then it runs the water through under pump pressure. There's some Nespresso, Espresso mugs I've got here. I did a review of those recently if you like the look of those. Um, but we'll just press the espresso button now. That's this little cut one on the side and you can see the coffee coming through and how it looks. You see, it's a really nice rich colour. I, I prefer myself the Nespresso coffees and the Nespresso capsules to most of the compatible ones that I've tried. The Starbucks ones are quite good, but interestingly they're made by Nespresso. Um, so that could be why they're a little bit better, but look at like the crema on top is so much better on the Nespresso capsules than on most that I've tried. Um, so that's you've just seen how it works there. Drop the capsule in the top, push it down, pierce the lid, just press the button in 30 seconds you've got a nice espresso. So what about this Lungo button? What's this? If you're buying a machine for the first time, you might be wondering what that is. Um, well, a Lungo is a, a, a more stretched out version of an espresso, a longer coffee. It's 110 mil on an espresso machine. Um, and it's basically, it's a, more, a longer, more bitter coffee. Um, you can make it into a latte, but you can enjoy it neat. But it, the, the longer the extraction process goes on, the more bitter notes come out in the coffee. Um, so that's what a Lungo is. So I'll just quickly run one of those three for you. Just to show you what that is, I'll use my travel mug for that one. So that's the big cut button on the side here, you just press that and we'll see how big a lungo is. So it's 110 mil. When it's finished you can just top it up to your desired amount, uh, top it up with milk if you want to. Uh, to whatever taste you like, or like I said, you can drink it neat. But you might have been wondering what the Lungo button was if you buy the machine for the first time. I didn't know when I first got mine. Right, so that's a Lungo coffee just there, and that's how you make one. Just a few more common questions then that people might want to answer in if you're looking at buying a Satie's machine. The first one, how much does it cost? Well, I got mine on offer. This one was £120, but that was on discount. If you get that, that was through another retailer. If you get it through um, Nespresso, you're going to be looking at about £209 if it's with the Aeroccino, or £159, I think it is on the website, if you're going to buy it without the Aeroccino. So do you need the Aeroccino? Well, if you're only going to be drinking um, Espressos and Lungos, and you don't have milk with them, and you know you might not need it, although it could be good to have it anyway, just for when people come round and visit, if they do want a cappuccino, then you, you might want to have a milk frother. Because um, that's the only way you're going to really be able to make cappuccinos, lattes, etc. Um, does it make a hot coffee? Well, as you can see from the videos we just did making the coffee, it, it does make a hot coffee. The steam was coming up, you can see it. I actually think it makes it hotter than my last Satie's machine. That was a little bit of a complaint I had, that is I could never really get it hot enough. So I used to run some water through first, the first before making the coffee to then get it a bit hotter and warm the mechanism up. I haven't had to do that with this one, so I think it is better in that regard. Um, does it take compatible capsules? As I said earlier, it does take compatible capsules, but as long as they're this shape, you know, it doesn't take the Virtual capsules, it doesn't take Dolce Gusto, Tassimo, etc. Uh, it just takes those original kind of capsules and compatible ones that are shaped and made like that. Uh, and finally, does it make a better coffee than the smaller machines, like the Ascenza? It doesn't, you know, it, it, the same capsules go in, the same coffee comes out, um, so it's not going to make a better coffee in that regard. It, like I said, it, it may just be a bit more functional in that it's a bit bigger and you have a bit more room to play. It fit a few different, more different types of glasses underneath and cups. So that might be worth the extra money, but you don't have to spend the money if all you're interested in is making espressos. Um, if you've got any questions at all that I haven't covered here, it's got a drip tray that can be easily removed and cleaned. Um, but if I've not covered anything, just leave a comment below and I'll try and answer your question. Um, 
obviously there's people have specific questions sometimes and I can't account for all of them but I hope that you found this review has given you a better idea of what the, the Satis is all about the benefits of it the fact that it's a bit higher uh, it's a bit of a bigger machine so it's a bit easier to use in some ways that's that's with the lid on look see it wouldn't act this is the problem you'd have with a smaller machine with your other cups but when you take that off it's a nice fit and um, so yeah Please give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, if you found it helpful. Uh, subscribe to our channel and check out our playlist now. And we've got a few other videos on there of products from Nespresso. So check it out and see if, you, if it helps you out with any other things you might want to buy. Or, and also remember the unboxing. I did an unboxing of this if you want to take a look at that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.